Okay, fingers crossed we are working. Yay, it looks like we're back live again. All right, let me see. Okay, can you hear me now? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, looks like we're back. All righty. Well, let's hope and pray that the computer stays on this this time so I don't lose you. So this is part two, <laughs> part two of week four of the 12 weeks of Christmas. For some reason, my computer decided it wanted to take a break and I got that blue screen of death and it restarted. So hopefully you're here still. So while you're coming back, I'm going to go ahead and hit the starter kit special. Guys, during these uh, past two days, I met a bunch of you at craft shows, and many of you were looking at our kits collection. Actually, one lady came over and she's like, can you explain the kits collection to me? I don't want to know about Paper Pumpkin. I just want to know about the kits. So as I chatted with her, guys, you get $168.75 worth of product for just $99. You can get a boatload of kits for that. So just make sure you're aware of that, but that's only through the end of the month. All right, it looks like you guys are coming back. Oh, thank goodness. The computer decided to show a blue screen on me and restarted. So thank you guys for tuning back in. This is part two. So while you guys are coming back in, I was going to hit this. And don't forget to get the, let's see, not that one. You want to get the, um, you want to get the paper pumpkin. We've got that extra add-on right now. This is the Warm Wishes paper pumpkin, which is good through uh, November, try again, October 11th through the 10th of November. And there is an optional add-on. We actually played with those the other day. Those cards, those card bases are absolutely beautiful. All right, looks like a few of you guys are back. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to making this card. I'm not even going to try to do the collar driven show because it doesn't look like we have as many on as what we had previous. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the two inches on the bottom of this one. So you take this over here, make sure there's nothing underneath your trimmer. Do your two inches. So we've still got four inches on the top, right? Boom. And see Bambi's little legs are still right there. All is well in the world. So we've got our two inch piece. And again, there's a big tree trunk over here, but there's a skinnier one there. So I'm just going to cut the half inch off on this side here so that that side just doesn't have as much of a tree trunk. That's okay, right? So we've got this piece here. I'm going to set that aside for right now. And then this one here, remember, had I cut it directly at three inches, you would have gotten quite a bit less, right? So on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide Bambi in there first because I'm going to do Bambi first. So I'm going to slide him in there and it looks like right around three and a quarter inches is what. Yep. See, that has him going right there. Hmm, let me see. I may not have cut this correctly ahead of time. Yep. Alrighty. So. We are just going to cut him right there at three and a quarter. We'll maybe go a little bit over. Okay. And we just go whoosh. So see just that little teeny tiny bit of his ear came off, but over here you can still see him. So this piece is now two and three quarters inches wide by the four inches. Okay. So now we're all done cutting. So see, you're still right around the three inch piece. Let me move my trimmer out the way. You're still right around the three inch piece, but sometimes based on the design, you have to modify it. So on this one here, the little two and three quarters, we're gonna put it on a three inch piece of designer series paper. So the, uh, excuse me, a three inch piece of early espresso. So the three inch piece is gonna be, try again. This piece is gonna be three inches across by four and a quarter. And we're putting this piece directly on. So we're going to do that. We'll do that part first. Well, thank you guys for tuning back in. Uh, if you didn't hear me at the beginning, um, and you can go back and rewatch the beginning part here of part two of this. Hi, Miss Norma. 
the computer decided to do that beautiful blue screen and just completely blank out and I couldn't get it back. So then this one right here is three and a quarter inches by four. So we made this three and a half by four and a quarter. And see it fits on there. So it looks just as nice. And we've got little Bambi. I know, he's so cute. How are you, Miss Norma? I'm thinking you live in a better climate than what I do. Um, here in Ohio, it was really cold today. But it was really nice because I was loading in a bunch of boxes and kits and my table today for the craft show. Oh my gosh, it actually felt good as I was loading and unloading. Okay, so there's those. So on these, I'm going to go ahead and put these on the card front here. But remember how we did the other ones on the left side? We're going to move these over onto the right because there's little Bambi. We don't want him to be covered up, right? And we're going to use real red to go along with our Merry Christmases. So in this case, I'm actually going to put Bambi on there first. Oh, Chicago. oh my gosh, no, you don't live in a better climate than I do. You are cold there too. Oh my goodness. I think the Midwest is getting hit right now. Our news said that there's a potential frost tonight here in Ohio. So it's like, ooh, oh, and see that? I didn't hit those again with my bone folder. Let me hit those really quick you need those right all right so we've got this one here this one's ready make sure the card opens up the right way and then we're going to just put him over here about the same distance as what we did the other one see right about there so it's just a smaller border on this side here on the basic white card front so there's that one we're going to do the same thing with this one because again we've got the tree here now guys, nobody would know if you flip that over, but the pink down here, that could be like a fog or the mist or whatever you want to call it. They probably wouldn't figure that out. But this piece right here, that does let me know that that's the tree going up. So I'm going to keep it the way that it was. And I'm going to go ahead and put that little puppy on there as well. See, this time we're doing the reverse. We're doing the smaller pieces before we do that. Um, bigger piece of the uh, two inches by five and a half inches that strip Ooh, and do you see that right there i have a little boo-boo on that so we're going to wipe that off and we're going to flip over to here grab that little puppy and then same thing we're just going to move it a little bit further but i'm going to give a little bit bigger border because remember this is smaller so guys you can these are fast and easy cards once you get the hang of it so it does take a little bit of time so there's those now on this one we're going to go ahead and put the i'm actually going to do the same thing then i'm going to put the red like on this side of it so see that way then it goes there now you could do it because we're doing the mirror image you could do it that way but i think that white is lining into that so we're going to do the same thing put that little guy over and where's my there it is do the same thing here and put our dimensionals on this one. And you notice I'm doing these one at a time, so that way then I'm sure that the right pieces and parts goes on to it. If you watched part one, you guys heard me say, I am so tired right now, so I don't want to mess anything up. I told my husband, he actually made beef stroganoff for us tonight and called my mom and invited her over for dinner too. Yeah, he's her favorite son-in-law. Now remember the little ear right there of Bambi is right there. Nobody can tell what that is. But what I'm going to do is just kind of move this down here so that within Bambi's ear is covered. And this extra little white, because that pink is awful pretty up there. So I'm just going to put that down here. And I'm going to move that over. And again, try to make the borders about the same. Close to. It doesn't have to be an exact. Actually, I'm going to move that down a little further. Press that one down. So we've got that card there. Same thing over here with little Mr. Bambi. Let's do the same way on that piece. Because doesn't he look so cute there? This paper is so pretty, guys. It is just, you know, I don't know who they're getting now to color the books, to, you know, design the papers and color the papers. But man, those guys are knocking it out of the park. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, if you get a chance to send a message to Stampin' Up, it's DS, like Dawn Stock, but it's DS for Demonstrator Support at StampinUp.com. Just send them a message and say, hey, thanks, I really like this paper. You'll probably make their day because I think they're getting kind of beat up right now. So, alrighty, so we peel those little guys off. And guys, I prefer to use the mini dimensionals. A lot of people prefer the larger ones. I prefer the minis. Now, see on this, we've got that tree trunk right here. That's perfect. But what we're going to do is just move this a little bit off because we want to keep the focal point there on Bambi. So actually, I'm going to move this one up a little bit, a little bit into that pink. I know, really hate doing that because it's so pretty. But all right, maybe move it down just a hair. All right, so we've got those two done. So now let's go to this piece right here. Remember, it's two inches by and we cut it down to five and a half. And this piece is two and a quarter that we cut down to five and a half. So it'll go on the card, which again, need to do that real quick. All right, so on this one, up to you, the white space is down here on the bottom. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this up a little bit and then I'll put this part down here so that way then that's down here on the bottom. The other thing you could do, especially when it has such a big white space on this, you could kind of just put it right there in the middle and stamp your Merry Christmas directly on there and then you wouldn't even have these pieces and parts. Guys, add a little bit of ribbon, add a little bit of bling. This is a beautiful card and whoever you give it to would really enjoy it, okay? But for this video, I want it to remain consistent so we're gonna play with this. So, first thing I'm going to do is take this, add my adhesive. Again, remember, please guys, hit it on all four sides on that. You don't want it to come apart. And I always put a little bit in the middle. And then I'm going to actually, whoops, put this up a little higher. Remember, I'm going to make a little bit more of a border on the top. So press that one down. And boop. Right, you always got to do the boop. And then here's a little bit too much onto that. Again, I don't know who cut this stuff. Man, she is off tonight, isn't she? Wow. So what do you guys want to see for next week? I've been trying to do treat boxes, and then it was fun when my friend Nancy, uh, when my friend asked me, hey, could you do some quick and easy cards? Um, what kind of things do you guys want to see for the 12 weeks of Christmas? I have them mostly designed, but I can add to or alter what I've got. So, well, goodness, there we go. Let's put a little bit there. Wow. Alrighty, so on this one right here, we're just gonna line that up. Close enough, there we go. And then walk it across and place it down. There we go. All right, and you can see they're still a little bit off. Again, I don't know who cut these. Man, she must have really been off on these, right? All right, so we'll throw that little piece away. And remember, you cut them one at a time because it's so much easier to cut one layer versus two. All righty, now on this one, you know, we've been going this way on it, which would be fine too, but on this one, I actually think I'm gonna go, I actually think I'm gonna go this way here on that. That way then the red is down here onto the bottom. So I want it, the adhesive down here on the bottom. See, we're really changing up this card. You didn't know this was gonna be such an easy card to make, did ya? And then we're just gonna kind of go, okay, right about, yeah, no, let's go down in a little bit more. Yeah, let's see, right about there is good, okay. And then we flip over and we put our dimensionals on it. Yeah, Norma, this paper is absolutely beautiful. Um, Catherine, where is Jacksboro? I have a friend that literally moved to, what is it, Jefferson City, Tennessee. And this past summer, I actually drove down there. I was driving through and I, I went a couple hours out of my way to go over and have lunch with him. And he was like, John, I can't believe you drove a couple hours. I'm like, dude, I have known you for over 30 years. Of course I'm going to do that. So see this one right here, if I put it in the center, it just doesn't look right because there's more on that side. So what we're gonna do is just kind of move it a little bit over and I'm gonna move it up a little bit. So that way then more of the red shows, right? So see, there's those. 
there are those, there are they, whatever the thing is. So see, look at how pretty those cards are. So the next thing you're going to do is grab your glue dots. Grab the glue dots. I always keep an X on mine so I know which one's my open box. And then what you do, my goodness. Oh, that's right. I still had this long from that uh, women's retreat. Okay, let's, let's done. So let me throw that out. Okay, so here's our first glue dot. And I'm going to give you a little tip trick or technique on this because we're making six cards, right? We're using all the same ribbon. So what I'm gonna do is just grab each of the ribbons, put it on the glue dot, press down. Go to the next one. Grab the ribbon that's already tied in the bow. And you guys know I tie bows for those who attend my classes. Unless you're getting like a whole thing of ribbon or half a spool of ribbon. I tie the bows when it's like our regular classes. Mm -hmm. And guys, beginning in January, I'm going to start back for my birthday card series. So make sure you sign up for that because I'm only going to do one weekday and one weekend class. There's only going to be two. And I feel confident seating six. We can do eight, but it's just a little tight in here because of people moving around. Um, so it'll be limited in size, but that'll begin in January is the birthday card series. Okay, so there's our six. Make sure where's the, there we go. My goodness, Dawn. All right, so there's our six bows onto the glue dots, right? So what you do is you press down, and guys, I've seen people try to peel off the glue dot and put it on the, the ribbon. Don't do that. Press it down into the, um, put your knot and press it down into the glue dot, and then you can grab one of the legs or one of the bows or reach under and just ready, set, pull it off and that way then the glue dot is directly onto it. Alrighty, so let's just put the glue, let's just put that bow right up here for that one. Let's grab the next one. No, let's put those all in the same spot. And so I think I like now nah, we'll just put that one up closer there to the top. And then this one here. Same thing right there. So there are those three with the bows. So let's move that one over. Let's go back to our first ones that we had done. Remember the one with the cute little fox on him? I think that little fox is so stinking cute. Alrighty. So then on this one, you know what? I'm actually going to put that a little sideways up here. Same over here. Actually, I'm going to put that one up there. And you notice I'm just changing the orientation instead of it leaning you know, to the right, these are leaning towards the left. Okay, so see, there are those. Let me go ahead and put this off. You just peel off that extra little piece and then put that back into your box so that it stays nice and neat. Okay, so remember, let's see if I can do it. There are our two strips, the two inch by five and a half inch. See how we just changed it up a little bit. This one is Cajun Craze. This one is real red. Cajun craze matched the little um, fox better. The real red matched the deer better when we get to that one. So there are those. Then we had these two here. Remember we moved those that they're leaning towards the right. And then over here with the trees and the little deer, we had these leaning towards the left. And again, our ribbon is comparable with that. I think you can see all of those in there. Yeah. So now that we've got that on, this is the part that's really the fun part. Guys, rhinestones, they're what? Six bucks, seven dollars in the catalog. Oh my gosh, they're rhinestones. They go with everything. And if you did not know, you can also color our rhinestones using your blends. Don't use your regular markers. Those are water-based and it'll just wipe off and you have a really hot mess. But you can color these if you wanted. We're not doing that today because, again, remember, we're trying to make these quick and easy cards. So grab your Take Your Pick tool. Um, I showed somebody how to use it the other day, and she was uh, using the, the paddle, the flipper thing. I prefer the point, okay? There are three different sizes here on the rhinestones. There's baby rhinestones, mama rhinestones, and papa rhinestones. I know, three bears, right? So it's up to you how you want to do it. So I'm going to use one of each. So I'm going to grab the daddy one first, put him up here. 
I'm going to grab the mama one second. And let's see. Let's put her. My goodness, I did get something on that. Let's put her right about there. And then we're going to grab a baby one. And let's just put the baby one. You know what? There's little snowflakes coming. Let's just put the baby one like right there. When you put these on, you want to make a triangle. And you want to do it in odd numbers. That is more aesthetically pleasing. There's my big word for the day, right? So you just put three on each of them, move it to the side, and let's do the same thing here. We'll do the papa one down here. We'll do the mama one. Okay, now this one's wider, so you know what? Let's put, we'll put the mama one down here, and then we will put the baby one maybe up along in here. Now it still makes the triangle. If I put it here, it would be a straight line. Now I could have put it there and then added a couple more. Actually, let's do that because that's got the deer and he's just so cute. So again, we're still making the triangle and let's put one, mm -hmm. we'll just kind of put one right there. So we've still got the triangle, but now we have five pieces on the little deer one because he kind of needed some more bling. He's just so cute. So on this one, there's nothing but the little birds. So we'll do, actually, we're not going to put any on there. We'll put the Papa Bear one down there. We'll put the Mama Bear one up here. And we will put the Baby Bear one right about in there. So again, we've got the triangle. Same thing on this one. We'll do the same thing, Papa Bear down here. Let's do Mama Bear up a little bit higher. I might move the other one too. And the Baby Bear is there. So we've got our triangle there. I'm going to move this one up just a hair. Just very gently peel it up so they're more adhesive. And we'll just move that one up just a little bit. So there's our triangle. There's our triangle. And here on this one and on this one, Here's a little filler for you, okay? See how that has all that white space and this one has all that white space? You grab a papa bear, you grab a mama bear, and you grab a baby bear, size ones, and you're just putting the three of them up there. None of them are needed down along in here. We're gonna do the same thing on this one, uh, except for in reverse, papa bear, mama bear, and Yep. See, that one's just barely hanging. There we go. Baby bear. Okay, so what do you think? Aren't those fast and easy cards? Now, I know today we went a little longer because I had to explain a lot of different things. But guys, basically, you can take the 6x6 six six papers, which we did use the one horse open sleigh, cut a two-inch piece off the bottom right down there, and then cut this in half. That's the easiest way to do these papers, and you can get three cards out of each of these papers. This paper package has 48. Guys, it's late at night, I'm not doing math. 48 times three, how many is that? That's how many cards you can make out of that that are fast and easy. Now, if you wanted to bump it up a little bit, I would have put these on colored cardstock. I think the white's kind of boring, but that's me. I've done this for 20 years, guys, 20 years. So what I think is boring, because I've done it for 20 years, right? But look at how fast and easy those cards are. If that's all you did was cut those at three inches, or cut the two, two inch strip off the bottom, cut them right down, add a border behind each one of them, and boom, add a little punch. There's a pretty ribbon, and then the bling. And again, rhinestones are so easy. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this. If you like this, I will be doing a PDF tutorial. It will be available when you place your qualifying order, which is $35 for online orders. $35 for the PDF tutorial, and it will go out at the end of the month. So if you are interested in that, that's perfect. If not, no worries. You've got the video. You can come back and watch the video, right? Oops, missing those top ones. Sorry about that, guys. Let me bring those little puppies down here. Huh. So what do you think? Which one was your favorite? I really like that little fox. But this one with the little Bambi on it, I think Bambi is my favorite. The fox is really close. These are nice too, but I live in Ohio, and Ohio, uh, the cardinal is our state, uh, state bird. And you notice on these, a couple of these are a little long. You can go back and trim those. That's exactly what I do at the classes. So guys, next week is week 
5 on the 29th. Um, I don't have the time yet because uh, we have a couple of things going on. So I will post the time. Hopefully it'll be earlier in the day, like in the afternoon. Make sure you like and subscribe here on my Facebook channel so that you get notified when I go live. I try to give you a little bit of an update ahead of time. Like earlier today, you got the posting that said, hey, I'm going live at 9 p.m. tonight. It's the same thing, but you do have to like and follow so that way then you do get notified. Alrighty, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions. Here's the host code for this month. It's T-W-A-U-N-4-P-N. So Tom William Akron, Union Nora 4, Paul Nora. I think I did all of that, right? So I hope you guys enjoy that. Let me know if you have any questions. And again, if you want to see something special for these 12 weeks of Christmas, again, I have most of them designed but I may be able to alter it or I may be able to show you how to use it for that. So just let me know. All right, guys, have a great night. Enjoy. And I hope to see you. My next craft show is on the 4th of November and it is at St. Brendan's in Hilliard. That's where it's at, Hilliard. So guys, I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye now.